And there you go, guys. There is the scoreboard. Uh, little big. I don't like the fact that I it, usually it's in the middle of the screen and I can see around it. There you go. There's the scoreboard. That's it. There it is. Hello guys. So it's been four months since release and we finally have the first update that addresses the community features that were missing. In the new update today, we got the requested scoreboard that shows kills and deaths, and also a new McKay skin that actually looks pretty decent. And to be honest, this is how I was expecting almost all the specialists in the game to look like at launch. I like the fact that it has a face covering so that people using the same skin don't look eerily similar like clones. The scoreboard itself is not quite what I expected, it's very different from previous Battlefield games and it covers the entire screen. And I was hoping for something similar from previous games that allows you to see around it in a more compact, concise form, but I wasn't too bothered about a scoreboard anyway, but at least they're doing what people asked. Unfortunately, other than that, there were no other major changes or fixes to the game. Performance is the same, gameplay and balance is the same, so if you were hoping for a major overhaul anytime soon, I would keep your expectations in check. Alongside this, a couple of days ago, they released a statement about the state of the game moving forward, addressing key concerns from the community and what they plan to do to fix it. They acknowledged that players described the game specifically as a walking simulator and agreed that this was not a satisfying experience. They want to reduce the travel time between bases and also the distance from the base spawn to the closest flags. They then went on to reference the intensity of combat relating to 128 players and the design decisions that may have caused the game to be the way it is. They admit that there are too many infantry and more importantly too many vehicles in certain areas that make gameplay frustrating. They're going to focus on 64 players only for the breakthrough mode from now on and reduce the amount of vehicles in that mode. After that they moved on to line of sight admitting that maps cater too much to long range combat and vehicles and they had plans to change this in upcoming updates. They also made points about paths and cover and how there's very little cover in these open areas that need sorting. They're going to start revamping the maps for Conquest and Breakthrough in 2042, however just one at a time, starting with Kaleidoscope. In their examples they show that they'll be moving objectives and spawns closer together so that players don't have to traverse massive open areas to get to the action. Objectives in a sector will also be closer to each other making it easier for attackers and defenders to cover multiple areas at once, as opposed to seesawing between points and making it almost impossible to capture both at the same time. They have already said that these changes will take a long time to implement, so maybe we might see the kaleidoscope changes at some point in the delayed Season 1. All these considerations they mentioned will also be applied to future map releases, so hopefully the map that has been teased for Season 1 will already be adjusted to appeal to what players want. There was no mention of any new content in the near future and we still don't have an expected date for that delayed Season 1 content. Either way, I think most people are very underwhelmed with the content so far. Obviously this is at least something, just anything to show that they're still working on the game, but I assume most media outlets and vocal players on social media will see this as another blunder, releasing an update with just a couple of skins and a scoreboard. I'm still a little confused why they don't try and import portal content into All Out Warfare at this point, although I have heard there is issues mixing portal content with normal content. But I feel like they could just cheekily add a little portal mode shortcut into All Out Warfare that only plays the portal maps with the 2042 guns and specialists as long as they fix the weird experience issue that we've had with the portal modes. Unfortunately, the game is still losing players at a consistent rate, at least from what we can see on Steam numbers only. It's more than halving the player count every month. Even I am having issues finding servers to matchmake into in the highest player population area in the EU. Often when I press the play button, I can only matchmake into a single match playing a map I'm not interested in. I think at this point, the only uptick in player numbers we'll see will be after Season 1 after a considerable amount of content is added. Performance and bug fixing is still up there as a major issue for most players. When I switch from Warzone to 2042 I feel a massive difference in input lag and it does make it less enjoyable to play. 
and that's me playing on a high spec PC fully overclocked with an RTX 3090. Aiming feels sloppy and unresponsive in comparison. As for serious current bugs, I am consistently encountering the vehicle bug where you spawn in a vehicle and leave it, you can't aim up and down or even control your character properly at all for several seconds. Plus, there is still a major issue where dead players appear standing upright, which distracts you whilst live players shoot you in the back. I'm pretty concerned for the future of 2042, and a lot of people ask me whether I think the game is savable. At this point, free to play might be the only option for a revival in players if season one content doesn't bring people back. However, EA still needs to work out how to monetize the game so that it'd be worth their while to keep the servers going. So I doubt that will happen anytime soon. I've already made my suggestions for improving Hazard Zone and general gameplay, but so far it looks like they're doing their own thing from community feedback. Battlefield 2042 is in a rough state at the moment. I don't know any of my friends that are still playing the game regularly, and right now it just seems like there's no clear end to the downturn in sight. I appreciate the devs for acknowledging the issues and clearly looking deeply into community feedback, but it does seem like they're not being diverted the resources to rectify them quickly. I'm concerned that we might not see any content after just one year of release for this game, unlike BF5 which got almost two years of content before it was canned. I've been back playing Warzone with the Vanguard integration with my friends, and I'm looking forward to the re-release of FPS titles like Battlebit Remastered and World War 3. What are you guys playing instead of 2042, and what games are you looking forward to this year? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, I'm going to be focusing more on previous Battlefield content alongside variety FPS gameplay. I really want to do like a full documentary on the success of Battlefield 4 after I played it for almost 3,000 hours. What other content would you like to see? Either way, I'm going to be diversifying the channel big time this year, and hopefully Modern Warfare 2 will be a big hit later in 2022. What's more interesting is that Call of Duty will actually not be releasing a new game yearly for the first time next year. And I've even heard rumours that the next Battlefield game might already be underway to release to fill that gap. But of course, this is all just hearsay. People have also suggested there might be some sort of Battle Royale being released by Battlefield this year. But I think that's extremely unlikely seeing as it would be a huge risk to do anything like that when the base 2042 game was received poorly. I am actually interested in what they're doing with Battlefield Mobile though, seeing as though they're going back to the modern setting and even using Grand Bazaar as their featured map, might have to give that a go once it's fully out. Either way, 2042 content is going to be pretty sporadic as we wait for updates. I'll be back with more when we get more details. Thanks for watching and give it a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.